Hello, this is John Murky, co-chair of the ITI Planning Committee and employed by Bylight Professional IT Services. This presentation is about mobile cross-enterprise document data element extraction, otherwise known as MXDE, uh, which is a uh, grouping of MHD and QEDM. And by the end of this presentation, you should understand that title. So one of the uh, backgrounds is that this is a uh, presentation about document sharing and about MHD, but I'm not going to cover those particular topics. Those are covered in other presentations. What this um, profile addresses is this very fact that documents, although they're really good uh, as an object type for communicating across organizational boundaries, are really not uh, the optimal uh, kind of information uh, size to be consumed by various applications for your clients. So, MHD uh, profile that I covered in a different presentation does eliminate some of the complexities that are involved in XDS. So you don't need to understand SOAP, you don't need to understand EDXML. Uh, uh, it really gives this uh, API to an XDS environment where one can use JSON uh, or simple XML with uh, RESTful HTTP. So MHD brings the barrier down quite a bit, but um, it doesn't change the format of the document itself. So if the format of the document uh, originally published as a CDA document, then the application in, in the case of an MHD document consumer will get a CDA document. And CDA isn't even simple XML. So one of the other attributes that, that we're looking at is, you know, apps tend to, you know, want just the facts, so to speak. Uh, you know, break it down for me, get rid of duplicates, you know, get rid of all of this uh, fluff uh, in documents. I, I want the, the, the basic elements, data elements. Um, on the other hand, uh, you know, an app, once it uses some data, probably uh, will have a need to, you know, know where this information came from. How can I trust it? Was this information only from a patient authored document, or is it uh, information from an organization that I trust? Um, you know, what are the sources of the information? How many times has this information uh, been recorded in a document, um, and uh, you know it, it, it gives that kind of an information. So Fire is really nice in that it provides these Fire resources, which are nice sized chunks. So MXDE and MHD and MQED, some of the things I'll be talking about, all have this M. Thing in them. Uh, IHG has been using the concept of mobile, uh, not exclusive to only applications that are mobile or even services that are mobile. Um, really, the mobile moniker is there to group uh, profiles that are uh, using the technology of FIRE. Um, and sometimes we, we cover the exact same use case. Uh, with these different technologies. For example, XDS uh, versus MHD. They're the exact same use cases, but uh, they are using different technology. The secondary reason is because in the use cases that we're looking at, we do have uh, the use case does include uh, requirements to use lower technology or more accessible technology uh, the kinds of uh, programming stacks that are prevalent in, in lower technology uh, 
So HTTP REST, JSON, and the like. So when you see mobile in an IEG profile, it doesn't mean you can't use this in a high technology space. It just means that it is using uh, the fire uh, infrastructure. So first um, thing uh, is, is that uh, the MXDE uh, leverages the M query for existing data. So query for existing data for mobile is uh, MQED or QED M. QED, query for existing data, uh, exists uh, within the technical framework today using HL7 v3. We wanted a fire equivalent to that, so we added the M and we reanalyzed the use cases. Um, and you see on the right hand side the various fire resources that are orchestrated by QEDM. Um, and it's the, the typical list that you would expect. Uh, happens to be the exact same list that US Core um, orchestrates. Um, but in the case of uh, QEDM, it is a international uh, focus. So it doesn't include US specific constraints. But it's intended to say, uh, to provide this simple API to high relevance information. MXDE, Mobile Cross Enterprise Document Data Element Extraction, is uh, a profile that is orchestrating MHD and QEDM. It provides uh, a, a bridging technology that says, uh, you know, if we assume that document uh, data exchange happens, and we assume that uh, mobile applications really want element level access, then let's uh, take the content that's in the document space, let's crunch it down, decompose it into the various uh, data elements, make those available, and close the loop, uh, which is uh, itemized here as number three, which says if you, if you see any particular element of interest, you can find where did that data come from. And I'll explain that in coming pieces so that you could then see the document and even pull the document itself. So, it's not just simply QED, which provides the access to the data elements, but it, it speaks to decomposing documents into those data elements and providing the closed loop provenance back to the document entries. So this is another visualization uh, of, of the same thing. On the left-hand side, you have various uh, document creators, um, an EHR creating some kind of medical summary, uh, some kind of uh, uh, environments producing an episode of care, uh, some EMR doing a discharge summary. So you've got various documents that are over in the blue space in XDS land uh, publishing these documents uh, for availability. You've then got some kind of processing, which we describe functionally, but we do not uh, provide code for. That's an exercise for an application developer that decomposes those various documents into the fire resources over in the green land. So you have various observations, one, two, three. You've got various medications, one, two, three, allergies, immunizations and such that have been decomposed out of the documents for this patient. That green land represents QEDM where some application can query these resources and see. Uh, yes, I like that observation one. That was a, a important to my use case. What MXDE uh, orchestrates then is gives 
gives this application an ability to find a provenance of that observation one and, and see that this information was found in uh, a set of documents. That set of documents is well enough described that it can go pull the document references and ultimately pull the documents it finds. So it's a closed loop environment going from the document environment through decomposition into fire resources and back through provenance back to the document environment. So how is this provenance uh, resource used? Well, provenance is a fire resource. Um, uh, it's there uh, in fire for all kinds of reasons. This is a particular uh, reason. Um, and in, indeed, um, IG, we've defined a particular provenance policy identifier uh, and explained you know, that the agent uh, needs to be described as to who did this decomposition, what organization or what piece of software, uh, when uh, did it get decomposed, and the various resources that were decomposed. So uh, what will happen is there will be one provenance resource per document for that particular patient. That provenance resource will point at all of the things that were decomposed out of it, such that if you are looking at observation one, and you look for the provenance of observation one, you will find uh, uh, a number of provenance resources representing each document that that data was, uh, came from. So if you just simply want to know how many documents was this observation found in, it's just a simple count of how many provenance resources are there. Next up is, say, where, what are these documents that this data came from? You can then pull the document reference. And if you really want, you can pull the document. One of the prime use cases for use of this provenance is just simply to track uh, where this information that you used came from. So if you used observation one, where did that information come from? It's a very provenance-based use case for why does the provenance need to be there. So MXDE is based on uh, and, and uh, starts with the presumption that document sharing exists, that there is a document sharing environment there will continue to be a document sharing environment. Um, it utilizes um, the IHE fire profiles, MHD, PDQM, QEDM, et cetera. Uh, it, so it orchestrates them. It describes the decomposition of the documents into fire resources so that applications don't have to deal with CDA documents. They can just deal with fire observations or medications or immunizations. But it does provide the closed loop using the provenance resource so that you can get back to where did this information come from? What is the document that uh, contained that information? So lastly, this is uh, some references uh, for finding out more information. Uh, MXDE, QEDM, MHD, the various document sharing profiles and the various fire profiles that IEG has to offer. This has been the presentation on MXDE. Thank you.